Hey guys and Happy New Year. Welcome to the introduction to my 2016 project pen challenge. Yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of wanted this video to go up earlier, preferably on New Year's Day, but um, as you can probably still hear the wind, it's not been the best of weather for filming this week, so I didn't really get as much done as I planned. Every time I tried to film, the wind was crazy loud and pretty much that's all you could hear in the background of my videos and um, it irritated me a lot but this is the last chance I'm going to get to film a few videos until my next day off and I don't know what that is yet. Um, so yeah, I apologise for the added special effects but let's get on with things. So I did do the count. Now I am going to come out right out and say this is not the most accurate count because um, I've already added 10 products to it and since then I'm still finding the odd one or two laying around so yes. These are the official figures not the accurate figures <laughs> but we're just gonna get right on into my account. <laughs> For primers, I have 14 of them. I have 33 foundations. I have 17 concealers, 7 pressed powders, 8 loose powders, 17 cream blush, 77 powder blush, 26 bronzers, powder bronzers that is. I have two cream bronzers, 10 liquid highlights, 17 powder highlights, 10 mascaras, 36 eyeliner pencils, 11 cream liners, 34 cream shadows, 35 shadow pencils, 124 loose shadows, 196 pressed shadows and these are shadow singles. I didn't I didn't get around to coming palettes. I have 10 brow products, um, 22 lip liners, 47 lip lacquers or stains, 78 lip gloss, which I don't understand how I managed to end up with 78 lip gloss. I don't wear a whole lot of lip gloss. Why do I have so many? <laughs> Um, 289 lipsticks and 40 lip crayons and that takes us to a grand total of 1,160 products. My aim this year is to get that number under a thousand whether it's through project panning or purging. Um, that is the goal to get it under a thousand and I will be so super happy. Um, I didn't go through my other videos and check back how this has grown over the last year. I'm not entirely sure if it has grown or if it's shrunk. Um, I will have to check back to my last counts and compare the figures. I will probably do a little segment on the blog post that will accompany this video so yeah my blog will be linked in the info box if you want to check that out. But um, this is also the introduction to my project pan and um, my aim this year is to use up 100 products. That was my aim last year, didn't happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna try again. Um, so I'm just gonna go through all the categories that I've picked and then show you the products that I've picked for them. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. So, so bad. So I picked five foundations. I picked the Max Factor Lasting Performance Foundation. I'm not entirely sure how much is left in here, but I can't imagine it can be a whole lot. We have the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation, which is around about here somewhere. I will mark these bottles after I finish filming this video so I can track the progress better. We have the Lancome Tinted Doll Foundation which again is somewhere 
down at the bottom here, it's almost empty. We have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Nude, which is approaching the halfway mark, um, somewhere around here-ish. And lastly, we have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Original Foundation, which is completely full as far as I'm aware. I think I've only used it maybe two or three times. So yeah, this one is going to be the one that takes a lot of work. <laughs> I picked five primers. We have the 17 Stay Time Long Wear Primer. The Face Finity from Max Factor Primer, which is still on its plastic. Um, we have the Lasting Finish Primer from Rimmel, which is over halfway finished. Same with the Baby Skin Primer from Maybelline, this is over halfway finished. And we have the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Primer, which I'm not entirely sure how much is in here, but I can't imagine it's a whole lot. But then again, I've seen people try and project pan this before and it's very deceptive, so it could be full. It could be almost empty. I'm not entirely sure because I can't remember how much I've used of this. So yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> I picked five concealers. We have the Boing concealer, which I don't have a whole lot left of. I'm kind of thinking of using this for sculpting out brows and such because I do like to sculpt my brows every so often. We have two of the True Match Lumi Magic. No. Touche Magic concealers. I go through these quite often anyway, so this shouldn't be too much of a challenge. We have the Revlon Color Stay Concealer, which I think I've gone through about half of this already, possibly, because it's it's showing a lot of side, unless it's no, it's still quite liquidy, so it hasn't got any air in it. I think I have just used quite a lot of it, so again, it shouldn't take me too long to finish this up. And then we have the NARS Creamy Radiant Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Um, I absolutely love this. I'm so happy to have it back in circulation. So yeah, we have this. <laughs> I picked five powders. We have two loose powders and three pressed powders. Um, we have the Smashbox Photo Set Powder, which doesn't have a whole lot left in it. And we have the number 7 Perfect Light Fair Powder, which again doesn't have a whole lot in it. It looks like a lot, but it comes with far more product than this. So it's about halfway used. Next we have the One Heck of a Blot from Soap and Glory, which I have hit pan on, so we've got a good running start with this product. Same with the number 7 Cream Touch, I have hit pan on it, so I've got a good start with this one as well. The one that will probably take the most work is the Matte Maker from Maybelline, which is practically full. I haven't used this a whole lot since I got it. It has got a little bit of a dip but it's nowhere near hitting pan. Next I picked six highlights. We have two powder and four cream. The powder ones are the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlight. It's what I have on at the moment. It's just really beautiful iridescence to it. I love it. And um, so we have that one. And then I have a MAC Limited Edition product. This is the Special Reserve Highlight Powder in Chez Chez Le May, which is probably one of my oldest MAC products. So I would like to try and get this used up this year. Um, then we have a MAC Stroke Cream Sample. This is over half used so it shouldn't take too long to finish this up. Same with the Me 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 in Sunbeam. This is over half used up. So again, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. These two, however, will take... Oh my god, I know, scratch my eye. These two will take a while to get through. This is the Lustrous Lotion in Pinkaboo. They don't make these anymore. They now do the photo ready skin lights and this is in pink light. Um, both of these I think I've used maybe a quarter of um, 
but yeah they will take a while but they won't take all year if that makes sense so I don't see them taking too much trouble but they will take a lot of effort next I have four bronzers That's these guys here we have the golden glow from natural collection We have the Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in Sunny from NYC, which I only used for the first time today. And I've had this for at least a year, maybe two years. So, yeah. I actually like it. I really like it. I don't know what put me off for so long. So, yeah. <laughs> then we have the Elizabeth Arden um, Bronze Beauty. Then we have the Elizabeth Arden Bronze Beauty Bronzing Duo and it has like a light side and a dark side and it just gives a nice sculpt to the cheeks. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to playing with this one more. And lastly is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in 06 which I think is called Brunette. I'm not entirely sure. But that's it there and I've been working on this for at least a month solid and I've barely rubbed any of the emblem away so yeah this might be this one will be the challenge this is going to take a lot of effort next i have 10 blushes i have four cream blush and six powder blush i don't know what possessed me but yeah <laughs> for cream blush we have the speedy blush in tickled pink from collection 2000 these are just like a stick blush and I found the best way to use these is just rubbing with my finger and dotting on my skin and blending out with the sponge. I tried doing it with them um, just rubbing the sponge on it and then putting on and then I tried rubbing it on my face and it just sort of made my um, foundation move around and cover this in foundation so rubbing my finger on and patting it is the best way to get this to apply. Same with the I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh. I did miscount and I used a non project pan product today. Oh my goodness. I thought the, um, whatchamacallit, the cream blush from NYC in Soho Pink. I thought I had included that in this. Apparently not. Oh well. Yeah, so Speedy Blush in Tickled Pink, using that. And then we have the e.l.f. HD Blush in Headliner. I only have a little bit of this left, so it should only take me maybe a month or so to finish this up. Then I have two brand new products. Uh, well, starting from new, anyways. Um, we have the Tickle Me Pink Mac Cream Colour Base. I think I've maybe used this once. Um, the rest of the time I've just kind of swatched it. Uh, it's really kind of vibrant, um, but I think if I blend it out well enough it shouldn't be too difficult to wear. And then we have Boho Pink from NYX, which I've used a whole one of these before, so I know it's not impossible. So I'm looking forward to using this one because I've kind of missed it. As far as powder blushes go, I have the Inglot blush in 64 which I've tried to use up before and it didn't go so well and now it's kind of cracked a little bit and it's dusty but it's a really nice burnt peach colour so I'm really looking forward to playing with that one. We have Sienna from Bourgeois which I've only just recently purchased but I love it so much that I know I could quite easily go through this really fast. I've already worn away a nice dip along this side. I don't know if you can quite make that out but yeah, I don't see this lasting more than a couple of months either. And we have the Revolution Blush in Now. This is a really nice blue toned pink. There's not a whole lot of product in these blushes. There's about three and a half grams almost. Um, and they kick up quite a lot of dust as well. So you lose a little bit of product when you use it. But I think it'll be perfect for going over the top of the Tickle Me Pink. Um, cream colour base. 
so that we have that. And then I have the Nude Mauve blush from Max Factor, one of the cream puffs. This was in my last project pan that I didn't quite finish. And I only have very, very little of this left. Again, I don't think this will last more than a month or so. And lastly, we have a NARS blush in Deep Throat. This is the first blush from NARS I ever purchased. Um, it has kind of hip pan, but it's also kind of dusty. So I'm not going to tip it too much, but I am mostly focusing on using the dust particles at the moment. Because I don't want to waste any of it. If later on in the year I find choosing six powder blushes is too much of a challenge, I will probably swap out one of one or two of them out for another cream blush product because I find I go through cream blush a lot quicker than powder blush. So we'll we'll just see how it goes. I picked five eyeliners, um, one cream liner and four pencil liners, two of which I don't have right here to show you. Um, the cream liner I want to use up is the Maybelline Eye Studio in black. How much I have at the moment. I've just given it a, a bit of a mix so it's all nice and moist and everything and usable. Um, for pencil liners I do have a Revlon black pencil and a Giordana black pencil. I also have the Rimmel black pencil and a Giordana pencil in green. Jade Jewel it's called. I want to try and work on getting some of my eyeliners out of my stash so those are the ones I'm going to work on to start with. I picked five cream shadows to work on. One is the number seven Stay Perfect Eye Mousse in Vanilla and this is just, this is over half finished so it shouldn't take too long to finish off the last of it. Then I have um, On and On Bronze by Maybelline which has been in a product pan before. I only have this much left so again, it shouldn't take too long to go through this. And then we have the challenge. These are the Bourjois Color Edition Cream Shadows. This is in Khaki Cherie, which has barely, barely been used. We have um, Prune Nocturnal, which again has it's been lightly used, but not very much. And then we have Petal de Glace, which is just a gorgeous sort of cool tone pink shade. It's very iridescent. Um, it looks as though it's been used more than it has, but really it's just been squished. <laughs> I wanted to know what happened if you squished it, so I squished it, and that's what happens. It just looks like there's less in there. Um, but again, it's only been lightly used, so I'm going to try and focus as much as I can on those guys. So yeah. Oh, I found the Jordana black eyeliner to show you. This is a it's it's over half used, so it shouldn't be too much trouble for me to use this up. For brow products, I picked five. We have three pencils and two brow mascaras. We have the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and the Brow Drama from Maybelline. And then I have two of the Brow Artist Super Liners from L'Oreal, both in Dark Brunette. They're both roughly around the same, the same stage of use. I'm only going to focus on the colour side. The other end is just a clear wax, which I don't really use wax anymore, so I'm not going to bother with the wax side. And then I have a Rimmel um, pencil in Dark Brown, which... I love. So, yes, we have that. For shadow pencil, I picked five products. I have the number seven Stay Perfect um, Shade and Define in Coffee Bean, which is a nice warm dark brown shade. We have the Rimmel. Um, I think these are just eyeshadow, the K eyeshadow sticks, and this is in rose gold. We have two of the Max Factor Wild Shadow pencils. One is in a sort of um, shimmering green 
shade. It kind of reminds me of a eyeshadow pencil version of Green Smoke by MAC. There's a little swatch of that there. And that is in the color 15. And then I have 05, I believe it is, 05, which is a sort of cool toned bronze shade. It's still slightly warm, but it's for a bronzy shade, it is quite cool toned. It's like a, almost a bronzy taupe kind of shade. So yeah, I'm going to try and work on these guys. And lastly is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk because this is one of the oldest shadow pencils that I have. It is starting to dry out a little bit, but it's still creamy as hell. But um, when you look at like the actual pencil, it is starting to come away from the sides a little bit which is a sign of it drying out. So I do want to try and get as much of this used up this year as I possibly can. Whilst doing my count, I did realise how little loose eyeshadows I actually use. So I am going to make a, a bit more of an effort to, and I picked five to use up. These are all sample sizes. Well, four of them are sample sizes. They're all Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadows. I will link the website down below. They're like an independent loose shadow mineral makeup company and I was obsessed with them a couple of years back so I have a lot of samples from them um but yeah these are the five I picked to use up we have a grease lightning which is a sort of khaki a gorgeous khaki shade we have just bitten which is a beautiful sort of maroon red shade which will go beautiful over the top of Prune Nocturnal. Then we have Fiji Mermaid which I'm actually wearing on my eyes a little bit today. Beautiful blue shade. Um, I just wanted to try something a little bit different so I put a little bit of it on the outer edges of the outer corners and I also put it underneath and blended it out with some black and it made a nice little sort of navy effect. I'm loving it. Really loving it. And then we have Feline Fatale which is a gorgeous purple. I'm looking forward to using this so much because I haven't worn purple eyeshadow in ages. And then we have Skin of a Killer, which I kind of figured I could use as inner corner highlight every day or even as a cheekbone highlight if I got bored of the other two. Just to try and use them up, do different things with my makeup. I also picked five pressed shadows. We have the MUA shade in matte 17 which i don't have a whole lot left of um, i'm using up three of the old style nyx shadows this is in taupe which is on its last legs we have brown which is perfect for warming up my crease every day and blending out lower lash lines and then we have suede which again is perfect for outer corner and crease work and lastly is a highlight from the new NYX Nude Matte Shadows, the new formula of NYX Shadows, and this is in I Have a Headache, and it's just sort of like yellowy toned white, and it's a oh, perfect everyday highlight shade. I picked five mascaras, um, four of which are Max Factor. Um, first of all is a 2000 calorie dramatic volume mascara, and we have the Masterpiece Max. Uh, in black, we have the Max Factor False Slash Effect Velvet Volume Mascara and the False Slash Effect 24 Hour Mascara. And I also have a little sample of the Benefit Roller Lash that I'd like to use up. I don't have it hand right now, but I did use it earlier, so I know it's still kicking about. I just can't locate it at this current time. You guys know what it's like. You sit down to film and you can't find anything. but. It's there. I know it's there. <laughs> Somewhere. I picked five lip glosses to try and use up, um, three of which are Rimmel shades. Um, we have the two of the Stay glosses, which they no longer make anymore. Um, we have Endless Night and Nonstop Glamour. N Endless Night is almost relatively full, but Nonstop Glamour is almost empty, so gonna work the most on this one first. Then we have the Vinyl Gloss in Paparazzi which again is about half used up so I'm gonna work really hard on those ones. And lastly are two of the MUA Out There Glosses which again are about half used. We have in 
nude and in buff. Again, I'm not entirely sure if they make these anymore, that's just kind of what inspired me to pick these ones, um, which means I've had them for a while so they need to get used up and thrown if necessary. Next I picked five lip liners. We have the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Obsession, which has very little left of this. I've been trying to put this in Project Pans for ages and I just never get around to using it, so I'm determined to just use this up and get it done. Then we have Indian Pink from Rimmel. Um, I have like three of these, so I kind of want to work my way through them. Next we have Whirl by MAC. I've had this for a very long time, um, so I just kind of want to get it used up and out of the way. And then we have two of my favourite lip liners of the moment. We have Mauve Moment from Max Factor and Brown and Nude, also from Max Factor. Love these, so I know I'm going to reach for them anyway, which is why they're in this project. Next I have five lip crayons. We have the number seven matte lip crayon in a raspberry wine and that's what I've got on my lips at the moment with a little bit of gloss over the top. We have Crush from Revlon which is a beautiful purple stain. And we also have Love Sick from Revlon which is a gorgeous kind of hot pink stain. And then I have two from e.l.f. These are the matte lip crayons, lip, matte lip pencils. We have natural, which I only have like this much left of. It's broken off the pencil. So I have to be careful when I use that one, otherwise it will just go all over the place. And then we have tea rose, which again, I don't have a whole lot left of. Just a little bit. So they shouldn't take too long to finish up. And lastly is the lipsticks. I've picked 10 lipsticks to use up. Um, we have the L'Oreal in Tafta, which has quite a lot left, but it's a fairly neutral shade, so I don't see it being too much of a problem to use up. We have Chanel's Boy, which I was holding off on using for a while, but it's getting quite old now, so I kind of want to use it up before it goes bad. We have the Estee Lauder in Pink Sands. This is from their signature line. And this is not a lipstick that I get a lot of colour out of. I'll do a quick swatch, actually. This is a very sheer, sort of soft pink shade. So I'm actually going to use this more at home as more of a lip moisturiser. And then we have Max Jubilee, which I love, you guys. Absolutely love it. So I'm just going to just finish it off and put that in my back to mac pile. We have Revlon Cherries in the Snow. This has been sitting as a nub for about a year now so I just kind of want to get it used up and out of my collection. We have the Maybelline Mauve Matte Mystic Mauve which was in my last project pan that I didn't quite finish. There's still quite a lot of this lipstick left but um, I think over the course of the year I can definitely get this used up. And lastly are my four Rimmel, Revlon even, lip butters. If you watched my declutter video, if not, I will link it below. I was humming and ahhing, humming and haying, I don't even know what that saying is. I was debating, basically, on whether or not to throw them out right, there, right then and there. So I figured I'll put them all in this project and if they're not used up by the end of the year, they're going. They're getting trashed. End of. I've had enough. I'm sick of the sight of them, so... <laughs> This is Pink Truffle, which there isn't a lot left, so again I'm going to treat this like Pink Sands and use this as a sort of at-home, keep my lips moisturiser while I'm typing and stuff. And then we have Raspberry Pie, which is beautiful, and I just, I don't know why I don't reach for it. I think it's the texture of these. I don't like the texture of them. They're too, like, gummy on my lips, maybe. And then we have Wild Watermelon, which I really loved this the summer that I bought it and then I just didn't use it all year. I think I maybe used it once or twice over a pink liner, maybe, possibly. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try really freaking hard. And then we have Red Velvet, which I actually did enjoy this. Um, I just kind of stopped using it 
I don't know why I just did but I'm gonna try really hard to get these guys all used up so those are all the products that I've picked for my project 100 pan um, 100 products sounds like a lot to use up in a year but when you break it down into those categories maybe five products here five products there especially when it comes to things like lip liner eyeliner um, primers and foundations these are things I go through a lot of um, I just need to when I I just need to consistently focus on specific products and I will use those products up quite quickly I think um, I actually think that um, the prod of the products I've actually picked the individual products um, I think I'll get off to a running start in the first few months and then the harder products will take me throughout the rest of the year and it'll give me space to do other project pans which will um, you know help me use up more of my products and get me more to my my goal of being under a thousand products I will probably do a, um, a purge sometime in the middle of the year um, just to you know there's bound to be things I'll want to get rid of and there's definitely things out of the new batches of lip products I bought over the last month or the last couple of months once I've done my lip swatch videos there will be colors I will want to get rid of so I will do like a little blog sale with those so that will help towards reducing my number and yeah as far as purchasing products I'm not gonna put myself on a spending ban but I am gonna give myself sort of a target for every five products that I use up I'm allowed to purchase one if I'm, if, I think that like I did think about ten for every ten products I'm allowed to purchase one but I don't think that's really feasible for me I will want to purchase more often than that but for every five products that I use up I will allow myself to purchase one which you know when I'm trying to reduce my numbers I don't want to be purchasing a whole lot of makeup but eh, I don't want to cut myself off and go cold turkey because we all know that doesn't work for me it just doesn't I will just end up going on some sort of buying spree and that is just not good so little and often that is how it's gonna work for me and I will be updating this every two weeks ish and I won't be updating you on everything every two weeks because that would be huge ass video every two weeks um, but as I said I think I've picked enough products to give me a sort of steady flow of progress for the start of the year so I do think it would be worthwhile updating every two weeks because I think I can get through a lot of products fairly quickly if that makes sense like I'm not saying I'm going to be done by June but I think I could probably get through like maybe maybe five or eight products just in January alone and then like another five in February and that kind of thing so anyways let me know what you guys are doing this year let me know what you're planning to do project wise and I will see you in the next video thanks so much for watching